Dr. Chris Botrill, Pata Chairman, Dr. Mario Hardy, Pata CEO, Mr. Andrew Staples, Global Editorial Director, The Economist Corporate Network, Singapore, Mr. Nathan Beljazik, Co-Founder, Chief Strategy Officer, Chairman of Air BNB China, Mrs. Maha Pak, Director of the Slovenian Tourist Board, Datuk Musa Yusof, Director General of Tourism Malaysia, Dr. Naushad Mohamed, Deputy Minister, Ministry of Tourism of Maldives, Mr. Haitam Matar, CEO of the Tourism Development Authority, Mrs. Nadira Haider, Deputy Secretary, Ministry of Civil Aviation and Tourism Bangladesh, Ms. Supawan Tiarat, Senior Vice President, Strategic Business, Development and Innovation, Thailand Convention and Exhibition Bureau, DOT officials present, speakers and delegates. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Good morning. To the Pacific Asia Travel Association executives, its officers from different chapters, members and affiliates to the Department of Tourism officials present today, to every Cebuano, every fun-loving Filipino, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to welcome you all to the PATA Annual Summit 2019 here in the Philippines, Queen City of the South, Cebu City. This is the Philippines' first time to host the summit, and the Department of Tourism takes this opportunity to connect with governments and private sector operators towards the advancement of the tourism industry. Together with PATA, we are firm believers of this year's theme, Progress with a Purpose. Same in the belief that the agenda on sustainable development can be turned into a reality. The purpose we seek in this development of travel and tourism in the Asia-Pacific region is one of accountability, a socially responsible industry that provides for the region's economic machinery while at the same time benefiting society, the communities, the grassroots trying to find a deeper meaning in the progress that we have made in our industry has led us to take up the mantle of championing inclusive and sustainable growth. In the case of the Philippines, after we breached the 7 million mark on foreign tourist arrivals in 2018, despite the six-month closure of Boracay, we are poised to place greater emphasis on quality tourism and sustainable travel, while trying to keep the strong arrivals momentum going. I wish for everyone to recognize that it is in our hands. We who are here at this level of management and direction to achieve positive change and improvement, not just for our own lives, but for the millions who depend on tourism. It is not only a source of livelihood, but also a key component to achieving greater national development, a beacon of hope. The responsibility of ensuring a competitive yet sustainable tourism industry is shared among all of us. The PAPA Annual Summit is one of the best places to stay abreast with our peers in tourism, to get on the same page, to inform ourselves with the latest analysis of this dynamic and multifaceted industry. As we look into the state of the world economy, pay attention to the emerging trends in travel, and go beyond looking at mere data, but rather the number of lives that are impacted by what we do, all these become our guide in building a more sustainable tourism industry one that will allow our world to be enjoyed by our children and their children after them. Allow the facts to direct us in making informed decisions in policy formulation and regulations 
let us all agree that the future we envision is the one we create today. That actionable change for a more responsible and inclusive tourism is what we need in our institutions, in our governments, in our businesses. At this summit, we will learn and be informed. But what matters more is that we act upon the knowledge gained for it to have an impact on the ground, for the communities dependent on tourism, for the environment, and the generations to come. In the coming days, I personally hope that all of our foreign guests would get a feel of the fun that is genuinely Filipino. As for the Philippines' stature in the global tourism community, we are stronger than ever. Not yet at our full potential, but we are getting there. As we push forward with various programs, including the measuring of sustainable tourism, advocating locally made products, truly Filipino experiences, and gastronomy that supports local farmers and businesses, and promoting the principle of responsible travel by responsible travelers, we seek your support in the Philippines' candidacy to the UNWTO Committee on Statistics and the Tourism Satellite Account, and to the Committee on Tourism and Sustainability. Friends, we are ready, and we are counting on your backing. The Philippines is bullish in our pursuit of hosting the UNWTO General Assembly in 2021 and the World Travel and Tourism Council Global Summit in the same year. If you have noticed the trend at all these international events that we have organized, Roots Asia 2019, this one, the PATA Annual Summit 2019, and those that we wish to host, we are delivering a message. We are ready. The Philippines is worth visiting many times over. With the immense diversity of tourism products that we have to offer and the growing infrastructure facilities to facilitate travel to our destinations, we can't wait to show them to the world. To end my message, may I please reiterate that all of us present here today are privileged to be in a position of potent action. Let us continue to fuel the passion that drives sustainable tourism. Let us be catalysts that would ignite the fire among our peers that there may come a time that we will all glow bright, brightly as heroes for sustainability. Congratulations to the PATA Annual Summit 2019, and we wish that you all experience how it is indeed more fun in the Philippines. Mabuhay and maayong buntag sa inyong tanay. Thank you.